Hello students, my name is Neeti Said and thanks for watching Edupedia Word videos. My topic for the presentation is third section of the chapter Plant Growth and Development. In this section of the video, we will discuss about the conditions for growth or to be more precise, essential elements for the growth of plant students. Why do you not try to write down what you think are necessary conditions for growth students? This list may have water, oxygen, nutrients, temperature, light and gravity. So you can say that they are the essential elements for growth. The plant cells they grow in size by cell enlargement which in turn requires water. Okay. So this is the first and foremost factor that is required for plant growth. Turgidity of cell, it helps in the extension growth. I have already taught you about the cell elongation uh, process in my previous section of the presentation. So for better understanding, you can refer to those uh, presentation like how turgidity of cell helps in the extension growth. Thus, plant growth and Further development is intimately linked to the water status of the plant. Water also provides the medium for enzymatic activities which are needed for growth. Now come to the oxygen. Oxygen it helps in releasing metabolic energy which is essential for growth activities. Then comes nutrients. Nutrients, uh, I've already taught you in detail about the plant nutrients such as macronutrient and micronutrient in the chapter mineral nutrition. Okay, so nutrients such as macronutrient and microessential nutrient, they are required by plant for the synthesis of protoplasm and it act as a source of energy students. Okay, it is written here. Then comes temperature. Plants, they have an optimum temperature at which growth is maximum. That means uh, at some temperature, growth is seen maximum. Deviation from this range could be detrimental to its survival. Okay. Then comes light and gravity. They affect certain phase or stage of growth or of plant growth. These are the six factors or six essential elements which are required for plant growth and development. So let's see each one of it in detail now. First is temperature students. Plant grow well only within a limited temperature range. Temperature that are too high or too low will result in abnormal development and reduced production that is quite obvious that if we uh, increase too much temperature or if we decrease uh, temperature below optimum level then it will result in abnormal uh, development and reduced production okay it is seen that warm season vegetables and most flowers they grow best between 60 degree celsius and 75 degree celsius or 80 degree fahrenheit and cool season vegetables such as lettuce and spinach should be grown between 50 degree fahrenheit and 70 degree fahrenheit a measure of the intensity of heat is called as temperature plant growth occurs in a fairly narrow range, 60 to 100 degree Fahrenheit. Temperature, it directly affects photosynthesis. It directly affects respiration. It also affects transpiration. Transpiration is loss of water, absorption of water and nutrients. The rate of these processes, it also increases with the increase in temperature. And please note that Soil temperature, it also affects water and nutrient uptake. Temperature, it also affects soil organisms. Nitrifying bacteria, it inhibited by low temperature. pH may decrease in summer due to the activities of microorganisms. 
so this was about the temperature that plants they grow well only within a limited temperature range which we call it as optimum temperature limit a temperature that are too high or too low will result in uh, abnormal development or stunted uh, production and warm season vegetable and most flowers they grow best between 60 degree fahrenheit to 75 degree or 80 degree fahrenheit and cool season vegetables such as spinach and lettuce this, it should be grown between 50 degree fahrenheit to 70 degree fahrenheit that is the optimum temperature for cool season vegetables oxygen it is second most crucial factor for the plant growth plants they require oxygen for respiration to carry out their function of water and nutrient uptake in soil adequate oxygen is usually available but plant root growing in water will quickly exhaust the supply of dissolved oxygen and it can be damaged or killed unless additional air is provided okay so you can uh, now uh, say that oxygen is very crucial or it helps in releasing metabolic energy which is essential for growth activities so a soil which has adequate amount of oxygen is usually available but plant root growing in water will quickly exhaust the supply of dissolved oxygen and it can be damaged or killed unless additional air is provided okay a common method of supplying oxygen is to bubble air through the solution so this way this uh, way by bubbling air through the solution you can supply oxygen to plants it is not usually necessary to provide supplementary oxygen in aeroponic or continuous flow system okay now third most crucial factor which is required for plant growth and development is mineral nutrient mineral nutrient uh, or you can say nutrients such as macro and micro essential nutrients they are required by plant for the synthesis of protoplasm and they act as a source of energy green plants must absorb certain minerals through their roots to survive in the garden these minerals they are supplied by the soil and by the addition of fertilizers such as manure compost and fertilizer soils so this way you can uh, provide mineral nutrients artificially by addition of fertilizers such as manure compost and fertilizer soils the essential elements which are needed in large quantity are nitrogen phosphorus potassium calcium magnesium and sulfur please note that primary nutrients are nitrogen phosphorus and potassium okay first three nitrogen phosphorus and potassium these are macronutrients to be more precise they are primary nutrients which are very much required by a plant then comes calcium magnesium and sulfur they are macronutrients but to be more precise they are secondary nutrients okay then comes micronutrients micronutrients are copper manganese iron boron molybdenum chlorine they are also needed but in very small amount that's why they are called as micronutrients they are also called as trace nutrients or trace elements so so far we have studied about temperature oxygen and nutrient now we will study about light as we all know that light is very much necessary for photosynthesis right all vegetable plants and many flowers they require large amount of sunlight hydroponically grown vegetable like those grown in a garden need at least 8 to 10 hours of direct sunlight each day to produce wells incandescent lamp it is a artificial lamp uh, or or you can say it is a artificial uh, source of light 
which is supplemented with sunshine or a special plant growth lamp can be used to grow transplants but are not adequate to grow crop to maturity that means with the help of incandescent lamp you can not grow plant to the maturity level high intensity lamps such as high pressure sodium lamp can provide more than 1000 foot candles of light okay so this was about the light that light is also very much necessary for plant growth and development it is uh, also called as the radiant energy quality intensity and duration of light are also very much important quality of light can't be controlled on a field scale and intensity of light that is brightness is an important factor it is very much important for the for carry out the photosynthesis and duration duration uh, that is photoperiodism or you can say plant behavior in relation to day length so this was about the light now comes water water quality can be a problem in hydroponic system water with excessive alkalinity or salt content can result in nutrient imbalance and poor plant growth so it must be checked that water should not be used with the excessive alkalinity or salt content because it will result in nutrient imbalance and poor plant growth softened water what is softened water it may contain harmful amount of sodium water that test high in total salt should not be used this should be checked okay and salt level greater than 0.5 millions or 320 parts per million they are likely to cause an imbalance of nutrients so these are the conditions that must be checked before using this factor for plant growth and development okay now last that is sixth factor that is important for plant growth and development is gravity Gravity uh, is also very important. Any deviation from this range could be detrimental to its survival. Gravity, it also affects certain phase or stage of grape. Stay tuned and keep watching Edipedia World videos. Thank